Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda, and please welcome to our Operation Freedom platform, WeThePeopleProcessing.com. You know, are, are you tired of being threatened to be canceled just because you have a company focused on liberty and freedom? Well, worry no more, folks. WeThePeopleProcessing.com is your go-to merchant services, freedom-based company to provide business service payment solutions. We The People Processing provides their clients a cancel culture free platform which is domestically based. They provide competitive rates, no contracts with next day funding, a fully vetted and like-minded financial infrastructure and full support for integrations, implementation and e-commerce efforts. Bottom line, WeThePeopleProcessing.com focuses on defending your company's free market growth, values, and future. Check them out at www.wethepeopleprocessing.com. Once you're on the site, enter in a password Operation Freedom or call 855 499 2024. That's WeThePeopleProcessing.com. Then, when on the website, Enter Operation Freedom as your password or call 855-499-2024. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically any question? Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you say categorically You are fake news. Sir. I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. Extra shows, extra content, extra guests, extra analysis, archives to all of our shows. We have a tremendous amount of free public information there. I did a recent special presentation called The Road to Freedom. It's based on my family's four-generational battle against the globalist cult. And they are a cult. That's what they really are. They're a cult. People don't like to hear that, but it's true. They are a cult that are trying to strip you of freedom and liberty and your future and your life and the sovereignty of every country. And they do this 24-7. And it's the independent media that has exposed this. The bought off lamestream fake media is part of that globalist cult. That's why you never get it from them. They want you in the dark. They want you uninformed, misinformed, because you become an easier target. And what we do as a member of the independent media is to inform you, educate you with the facts, the data, the science, so that you can then become empowered and empower others by passing on that information. Because in so doing, it's the single most effective way to end this reign of terror by the globalist cult. We hope you'll join us at DaveJanda.com 24-7. The title of today's presentation is The Don't Negotiate, Just Nuke Crowd is being exposed by the independent media. Now, many people say when you start talking about nukes that you're a conspiracy theorist to even think this is a possibility. No, actually, I identify as a conspiracy realist. And my pronouns are they, the globalist cult, lied. Take that to the bank. So let's look at a couple of the ways in which these globalist cult members are being exposed. The, the, um, most, one of the more prominent globalist cult members, a middle-level puppet of the World Economic Forum, Zelensky, who does not care about his people. If so, he would have negotiated with Putin long before February rolled around in 2022. Uh, Zelensky, who has been put there to be in charge of the money laundering, human trafficking operations, the um, weapons running operations, the drug running operations, the money laundering operations um, for the globalist cult, is also there to help incite the spark with Russia uh, to bring about this great reset where the cult members, the globalists, they get more power and more control and more wealth. And all of us who are not part of that cult get zero, nothing, nada, right? Impossible. Zelensky signs decree ruling out peace talks with Putin. This from Dave DeCamp. 
Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky signed a decree that ruled out any talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Heaven forbid they have peace. That doesn't fit in with the cult. Declaring that would be an impossibility. Now, we should not be surprised about that because I've been telling you since April of 2022 that Boris Johnson, another cult member from the World Economic Forum, globalist, he had gone over and consulted with Zelensky and said, uh-uh, no agreements. This was reported actually as back in August, but we were talking about this in April of 2022, from, the, from Zero Hedge. Western allies led by UK's Johnson sabotaged tentative Ukraine-Russia peace deal as early as April of 2022. Meanwhile, we have El Demente, otherwise known as Joe Biden, running around talking about nuclear Armageddon. I kid you not, right? You, what? Biden warns nuclear Armageddon threat back on for the first time since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Joe Biden said that the threat of nuclear Armageddon is at its highest level. I wonder why that is. <laughs> because the cultists have it on their menu, right? At its highest since the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the U.S. is trying to find, a, well, an off-ramp uh, to the potential use of ta tactical nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, we got the World Economic Forum puppet, Zelensky, Ukraine Zelensky, calls on NATO to launch a preemptive strike against Russia to eliminate the possibility of a possible Russian nuclear strike. Then we have Professor Jeffrey Sachs, not exactly a conservative, by the way, stating, quote, Ukraine, Ukraine needs to stop bombing nuclear power plants and blaming it on Russia, you think? Right. As I've mentioned, whether it's Chernobyl or these other nuclear power plants throughout Ukraine, they are big, dirty bombs. This from Summit News. Professor Jeffrey Sachs stated that the U.S. should be demanding that Ukraine, 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 stop shelling the Zavorizhye nuclear power plant and then blaming it on Russia. Otherwise, the world will face a nuclear Armageddon on two fronts. One of the ways over the years that we have found to deal with the syndicate is when we get word that they're involved in an operation, we do everything possible in the independent media to bring push light on it, <clears throat> to bring it out to the public. Because once you take their operation and you shed light on it before it can come to fruition, it either tends to minimize what they do or it eliminates what they do. I say that because this has come to the forefront. Russia warns of dirty bomb, like a nuclear plant, false flag plot, and flurry of rare calls to Western leaders. A major new charge of a, of a Ukrainian false flag plot in the making issued by Russia's defense chief has set off a string of tit-for-tat accusations and statements. Russia Defense Minister Sergei Shogu claimed in a rare phone call that included his counterparts from the United States, Britain, France, and Turkey that Ukrainian forces are preparing a provocation with a radioactive device. A Kremlin statement cited that he conveyed a warning over possible Ukrainian provocations involving a dirty bomb. So in other words, Ukraine blows it off and then blames it on Russia. Makes it look like Russia did it. Russia's claiming that Ukraine's going to do this. Ukraine's saying Russia's going to do this. The Kremlin is further charging that this low-intensity nuclear provocation is being prepared with the help of Great Britain. However, the Western allies have said no evidence whatsoever was presented on the phone calls. Okay. Meanwhile, you now have Zelensky, who remembers, talking about a preemptive attack. If Russia strikes a presidential office in Kiev, the West needs to hit Russian decision-making center immediately. He told that to the Canadian broadcast company and Canadian TV. These guys are lobbing around nuclear strike talk like they're talking about a recent football game, right? Why? Because they don't care about the people of Ukraine or the people of the world. They only care about themselves and their handlers high up the food chain, up the criminal banking syndicate, 
You know, like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Lazards, the Pincuses, the Warburgs, the Seifs, and the top of the pyramid, the Paysur family. Look that up, P-A-Y-S-E-U-R. I get in trouble every time I say it, but I say it. Meanwhile, we have this talk. Annexed Ukrainian regions. Remember, Putin and the Russians annexed the four areas that had voted to separate from Ukraine and join Russia. Annexed Ukrainian regions are now under nuclear protection, the Kremlin affirms. Okay, the recent four recently annexed territories in the east are now under Russia's nuclear protection. Quote, all those territories are an inseparable part of Russia and therefore all of them are under our protection, Putin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters. Their security is guaranteed precisely at the same level as the rest of the country. And meanwhile, we have this. Elite U.S. Airborne Division, the 101st Airborne Division of the U.S. Army, is practicing for war near Ukraine border. Now, wait a minute. We're talking nukes. We're talking fallout. What? U.S. Army is flexing its muscle with elite training exercise just a few miles from Ukraine's border. Near the Ukraine-Romanian border, an elite airborne division is practicing for war and is ready to be called up in a moment's notice. What's that going to do with a nuke? The U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division has been deployed to Europe for the first time in almost 80 years amid soaring tension between Russia and the NATO military alliance. The light infantry unit named the Screaming Eagles, hopefully not the nuked eagle, Eagles before it's all over, is trained to deploy on any battlefield in the world within hours. So imagine these poor people over there. Are they sitting ducks? For, let's say, a nuke that gets bombed and the radioactive isotopes are released and it adversely affects these troops. And now, well, the United States has been attacked. What are they doing there? Get them the heck out of there. They shouldn't be there in the first place. If any American's going to go over there, it should be Biden and his posse going over there and talking to Putin and getting Zelensky in a room. But that won't happen. Remember, we got decrees against that. No, we're too busy talking nuclear Armageddon. Meanwhile, a source of mine, very connected, on the ground in Ukraine, says this. The word from on the ground in Ukraine is grim. We are out of weapons to give and cannot find manufacturers to build them. Okay, well, to me, that's a good thing. Ukraine is not going well on the ground for Ukraine. Russia is not doing well, but better than the news reports and better than Ukraine is. The drones the Russians are now using are game changers. And Russia is preparing for a big offensive military push. Meanwhile, we have spent $80 billion here in the United States of our hard-earned taxpayer money being sent over there since February 24, 2022. $80 billion. We don't have money for infrastructure or roads or bridges or baby formula or border security or internal border security or... You name it, right? But we got $80 billion that we've already sent him. And now, now, Congress is considering another $50, $50 billion because Congress might change hands and they want to get this in before that happens. From Dave DeCamp, lawmakers seek to pass $50 billion in new Ukraine aid before the next Congress. And how much of that money is being laundered, right? Rand Paul asked for an inspector general to be put into account for where this money's going. And con this Congress voted against that. And Rand Paul was deemed a subversive for wanting to know where the money went. Because you know, their World Economic Forum little puppet, Zelensky, is in there laundering it. How do you think he became a billionaire? How do you think all these globalist cultists get all this money? It's off the hard-earned taxpayers of the world that fund these things, and then it gets laundered into these cats' pockets. Fact. The don't negotiate crowd. The let's just nuke crowd. 
is the same as the globalist cultist crowd. The crowd that for decades has targeted you and every child in this world. In fact. And if you don't believe me about targeting children, just look at what they did in this 15 to nothing vote the other day. What they did is they had an allowed the globalist cult bus driven by Big Pharma to run over every kid in the world. Fact. And now they're talking about nukes like their party favors. You gonna let that go? Are you? You know, there's an election coming up. What are you going to do? And what are you going to do before the election? Are you going to talk to your friends and families about the fact that anybody that has a G after their name, a globalist cultist, needs to be identified and never voted for? <laughs> I hope you will. Because anybody pushing this nonsense needs to lose their office, need to be voted out of office. Those that are not up for re-election need to have peaceful protests generated toward them. And they need to be held accountable. Nobody should be talking about nuclear events. It should not be on the chessboard. What should be happening is negotiation. But that's not happening. It's not being allowed to happen from the chief globalist cult members, the banking families. You see, they've pre-positioned themselves for the financial meltdown that is in the process of occurring. And they just need a little spark for that meltdown to happen. And that's where the middle level puppets come in, speaking about nuclear Armageddon and signing decrees not to negotiate and talking about preemptive strikes. Zelensky doesn't give a damn about the Ukrainian people. Biden doesn't give a damn about the American people. No leader cares about any of the people. They only care about themselves and the people that put them into power. Fact. So what do we do? We call them out. We call them out. Each and every one of them. You see, <clears throat> they're cult members, but they're also cowards. My experience over dealing with these cult members for 30 some years is when you call them out, they cut and run. They're cowards, they're cockroaches. They hate being exposed because once they're exposed, they're vulnerable and they run. Call them for what they are, cult members who are cowards, who don't care about humanity. The good news is there are plenty of people that do care about humanity. And everyone you vote for, once they are elected, you need to congratulate them and tell them you are watching them 24 seven. And you expect them to push freedom, and liberty, and safety, and sanity, not insanity, not nuclear Armageddon talk, not war talk, but peace and negotiation 
and doing the right thing. And that you're watching them 24 seven. And the minute they stray, you will, along with your friends and family and network, make sure that they are never elected to another office again and, and will vote them out to the point where they never make it through a primary because they are voted out. Yeah. We're winning the war. The cultists are exposed. They're panicked. They're desperate. They see it falling apart. Well, it's just the beginning of the end of them. But it is the end of the globalist cult and their crimes against humanity that they have been perpetrating for many, many decades. I thank you for your time. We are available 24-7 at DaveJana.com. A lot of free public information, but the real in-depth stuff and analysis. 30 cents a day, 9 bucks a month, try it for a month. You know, like you can get rid of it, but I'm not sure why. Because the information you get, you'll never see, read, hear, or experience in the bought-off flame stream fake media. Until next time, Dave Jan is signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.